I've been picking up a lot of good hats this year so far, and I haven't shown you any of them, but that changes today. I'm gonna be unboxing a few of my recent pickups. So as y'all can see, I have the boxes ready to go. It's been a minute since I did one of these types of videos showing y'all what I've been picking up lately. It's not a lot of boxes, but trust me, it is some big heat in here. I haven't been picking up a lot of pins lately, but I did pick this up a while back. So we just gonna start off with this right here, something light. This is Sneakers and Fitted's first pin drop or blip drop technically because this is a blip. He's from Detroit, so it has like a Detroit vibe going on. You got the tiger wearing the Detroit cap and it's sneakers and fitted. So of course the tiger is holding a little Nike box. I think it's dope. I can't wait to see, you know, what colorways come after this or what else he has in store. But yeah, I had to pick this up. I'm gonna throw this on some of my Detroit hats for sure. And I don't know about y'all, but I kind of like the blips a little bit more than the pins. This way I don't have to leave holes in my hats. Now to kick things off with my fitted hat pickups, we're gonna start right here with a little hat club exclusive. Cause when I saw this one on the gram a while back, I was like, I need that. Somehow, some way I have to get that in hand. So here it is. We got the hat club LA exclusive chronic 2.0. Great tonal Dodgers hat. You got the black crown, black UV, black button on top. That green, I'm gonna call it mean green. That mean green on the front with the Los Angeles script goes crazy. I love the way that that looks. It's like a ghostly green, you know what I'm saying? It has a, a ghostly quality to it. Like the scary hours with this one right here. All-Star Game 2001 side patch with some more of that green in there, but you also have a hint of metallics in there as well. Don't worry, I'll make sure I give y'all a close up so y'all can see the details. Flat batterman on the back, green, and some more of that metallic pewter, I believe it's called. Tonal New Era flag, gray UV on this joint, fire. Fire, I had to bring this home. It is a made in China hat, so y'all could cry about that in the comment section if y'all want to, but on this channel, I don't really care. I buy made in China, I buy made in Bangladesh. It don't make no difference to me, but I know y'all have y'all preferences. My next pickup comes from Stash, and I actually picked up two hats from Stash this year so far, both of which were designed by women, so that's dope. Shout out to all the women in the space who are doing their thing. I love to see it. All right, so this comes in a bag. That's nice. You can kind of keep all of that cardboard and dust and stuff off. But this right here, I, I had to get because I've been waiting to break out a certain pair of sneakers and this matches perfectly. Two-tone cups joint. I don't know the exact colors, but you have a pale pink on the crown and you have a burgundy or like a deeper shade of red, maybe even like a wine color on the visor. And the button on top, black and white cub space. The inner circle is kind of like a cream color. And then for the outer circle, you have that same wine or burgundy color that's on the visor and the button. I don't have anything like this in my collection. So that's another reason why I picked this up. 1990 All-Star Game side patch. You can see the gold stars at the top. That's a nice touch. Some more of that wine color. There's some cream or like some off-white in there for the banner and the Chicago text at the top. Flat batterman on the back, white in the middle, burgundy on one side, gold on the opposite side. Tonal Nuera flag, gray UV on this one. And it was made in Bangladesh. So this is a Bangladesh crown. I'll give y'all another look at it. And this hat I actually bought in a seven and one fourth. There was no seven and one eighth available. So trust me, I'm quick with it. I'm quick, but there was no seven and one eighth available to begin with. So I had to size up and get the seven and one fourth, which means y'all will be getting a how to shrink your fitted hats video very soon using a different method than the video I have up currently. So expect that there is like a little, a little stain on here. It's like a, like a light blue stain, but it is what it is. I could probably get that out with some hat cleaner. I did drop by Hat Club No Hole back in February. The vibes were immaculate in the store and I picked up some No Hole exclusives. So that's what we're gonna get into right now. I have two No Hole exclusives in here. I wasn't expecting to pick up two. I only went there for one, but once I saw the other one, I was like, nah, this has to come home. This Texas Rangers, is where we gonna start with the NoHo exclusives. You got a burnt orange Texas Rangers, cream colored Texas Rangers on the interior, and then you have a metallic blue. And there's also some copper stitching in there as well for the outline. All-Star Game 2024 side patch. So this is the first one that I get to add 
to my collection. You have some more of that copper in there, some more metallic blue. There's also some navy blue and some off-white in there. It's a good looking side patch. Flat batterman on the back, off-white in the center, blue on one side, copper on the opposite side. And this joint is a pinky, pinky with the black gut, made in China. So let me give y'all another good look at that crown. And if you've been watching the channel for a while, then you know one of my favorite hats in my collection is the Hat Club College Crossover Texas Rangers, the burnt orange joint with the uh, the cream colored Texas Rangers front logo. I wear that hat a lot. So this right here just kind of feels like a leveled up version of that. The second hat that I picked up from NoHo, the whole reason why I went is this joint right here, this diamond bags with the snake head. I only have two of these in my collection. This one right here that I'm adding today and the real tree two-tone that they did, that stone cold stunner joint that they dropped is like an app exclusive, but that's neither here nor there. Today we're talking about this joint right here. We got an off-white crown, gray visor, gray button on top, a really nice shade of gray too, if I might add. It's different. Like I feel like maybe I've seen it before on some hats, but not like this. There's some good metallics going on in that front logo. So you have a copper outline. The snake head itself on the interior is like a silver. And then you, of course you have the black as well, the white for the ball. The color placement on this one is really solid. There's also a little bit of pink worked in there for the snake teeth. Make sure y'all get into the details. 1998 inaugural season side patch. You have some more pink work then, but you also have a lot of that copper metallic stitching and some black as well. There's some silver and white, just like the snake head on the front. Flat batterman on the back, black in the middle, silver on one side, copper on the opposite side. Tonal New Era flag. And this is another pinky. I've heard a few people say that they're tired of pinkies. I've heard some people say that they're tired of color UVs in general and to each their own, you know, pick up what you like. I'm gonna keep buying pinkies as long as I like them. I believe this one is that other stash pickup that I was telling y'all about. Let's go ahead and crack this open. I believe this joint was called the Monstera Angels. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself on the screen, but I'm pretty sure that was the name of this one. It's been a minute since I picked up an Angels hat. I was kind of in my Angels bag for a minute in 2020, 2021, but it's been a while since I picked one up today. I'm adding a new one to the collection, a new two-tone Angels. You have a light green, kind of like a minty green on the crown, and then a dark, more foresty green on the visor to match the button on top. Y'all gotta get into this Angels front logo because I love what the designer did with this one. You have the pink and the silver worked in there really nicely. You have a white outline. It's just a good look. The color placement on point. There's also the little hit of gold and y'all know I love metallic stitching. I've loved metallic stitching since I started doing these unboxings. Y'all can go back and fact check. I've always liked the metallics, the gold and the silver especially. 50 year anniversary side patch on this one using the same colors from the front logos. Flat batterman on the back, pink, white, and silver. Gray UV with a black sweatband, but this hat also came with a pin, which I probably already noticed. I'll make sure I give y'all a close up. And the pin uses the same colors as the hat. You have a dark green, a lighter green, and a pink. What happened to our pins? I miss getting free pins with the hat. And note, I said free pins. Don't up the price of the hat to include the pin. No, I want a free pin. I said at the beginning of the year, this was gonna be one of my favorite hats of the year. Top 10 of the year. And that was back in January. So let's go ahead and see if I was right. Was I right? The Ronnie Fitted Dust Bag. Y'all know that, wait a minute. There's two hats in here. Hold on, hold on. So Ronnie Fittis did hit me up and he gave me exclusive access to his drop. And there's two hats in here. I didn't know he was gonna send out two. I was expecting one, but two? Good looking out, good looking out. Damn, this is what happens when you let the boxes pile up. I had no idea that there was two hats in there. Thank you, Ronnie. I, I really appreciate it. Ronnie's hat market drop that I said was gonna be one of my favorite drops of the year. Let's start with this brown Astros joints because I don't feel like we get enough brown fitted hats, which is the main reason why I wanted to cop this one. Like this brown with all of the different colors worked in and the gold, 10 out of 10. Brown on the crown, brown visor, black button on top, and the Astros front logo, y'all can see all of the different colors. And I believe this is a newer Astros front logo. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, if it's maybe something that people have decided to pull out of the vault now, but I think it's just 
a newer Astros front logo. So you have some blue, red, yellow. There's some green in there. A lot of different colors to work with when I decide to style this joint or match it up with a pair of sneakers. 2022 World Series side patch that works in a lot of those same colors from the front logo. You have some green, some gold, there's some red, there's yellow, flat batterman on the back, gold in the middle, pink and blue on the opposite sides, gold new era flag, red UV with a black sweatband, 10 out of 10 hat, and of course, if you ordered these, you did get a blip. Then we have the Cubs joint, which I wasn't expecting, but I am very grateful for. So shout out to Ronnie one more time. Black crown, green visor, maroon, or like a wine colored button on top. What he did with that Cubs logo is crazy. You have all of that yellow in there, and then you just have a hint of black on the eyes. Be alert for foul ball side patch. This is gonna be another first. I don't have this side patch in my collection. So this is gonna be the first time that I'm adding one of these to my collection. I like that he went with something different for the side patch. I feel like right now in fitted hats, it's the perfect time to be trying different things. Flat batterman on the back, same as the last one. So gold in the middle, blue and pink on the opposite sides. And then you have a blue new era flag. A bright blue UV on this one. It's not like a navy or anything like that. This is a brighter shade of blue black sweatband and this hat was made in Bangladesh. And I just noticed this hat is a seven, but I'm absolutely throwing in the hat stretcher and I'm gonna make it work. This one did come with a pin. It's the Ronnie Fitted Rice Bowl, but this one looks a little bit different. So I'll make sure I give y'all a close up of that. And I will also give y'all a close up of this blip that was included. Another pickup was this vest that I'm wearing, which I'm absolutely obsessed with, but we'll talk about that in another video where I talk about clothing or shoes or something. If you enjoyed today's video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, show a small YouTuber some love, I would really appreciate it. Make sure y'all check out my last hat unboxing or that playlist down there, which is filled with hat unboxings.